So this all started when I was very young, about five or six years old. Um, me and my brother used to watch the cartoons on things like Kids WB, Fox Kids, and we would get really inspired. And my brother used to make comics. We would just take some papers at home, staple them together, and just kind of write little stories. And they were actually episodic, which is kind of surprising at that age. We found ways to string storylines and things like that together. But my brother started it. I really loved what he was doing. So. Um, I kind of got into it myself. We made a whole bunch of stories, which will never see the light of day because <laughs> they were pretty bad ripoffs of some of our favorite stuff at a lot of times. But um, we definitely, uh, we, we, we kept up the pace and it really went from there. So Leaders of the Free World is about a little over two years in the making. We got started back in 2017 and um, Corey had seen my art from a friend of his who had shown him one of my pictures of an X-Men character. And the X-Men are one of his favorite uh, characters for his favorite series from Marvel. So when he saw that, he's, he had some of his own stories and ideas going. So he wanted to contact me so that maybe I could work with him. And he sent me the script and we talked about it. We got a bit of a rhythm going and I kind of saw where he was going with it. He saw where I was going with my art. So we both kind of linked up and the rest is history. Challenges is pretty much a deadline thing because I can draw pretty much anything, but like having the time to draw is another issue because usually I'm taking around two or three projects at a time. So I had to make sure I had enough time to do that book, the other books I was working on and keep everybody happy. I, I plan ahead, but not too far ahead, usually because when I get to the details, you know, things always turn out a little different than you plan in real life. So overall, there are a couple story arcs, I like to call them, that I would like to see happen. Um, I could definitely see myself winning an Eisner Award somewhere in the future. That would be pretty high up there on life goals for me. Um, I can see Leaders of the Free World going on. We're get, definitely going to make it a series. It's going to be something, it's going to be huge. And we're going to have, it's going to be one of those series like Ryan Otley did with Invincible. I can definitely see us going there. And this isn't to make any comparisons or anything like that. But um, I have a really good feeling about the series and I can see it going far. Hey, I'm Elijah Johnson and you are watching Underground City.